So we're just yelling to German Shedder. I, uh, I just have a German Shepherd now, so that's cool. So the dog wanders in my garage like it owns the place and it's looking for food. Walks up to everyone just fine. And I'm like, maybe the neighbor lost their dog. So I go to the neighbor and I tell him, hey, you have a beautiful dog. And they looked at me like, the fuck are you talking about? Uh, they're like, thanks, I guess. This did, this did not belong to them. It actually was a stray, uh, come to find out later. And I did what any citizen would do and called the city because I already have a dog and don't have a place for it. Um, and the city said, oh, yeah, we'll be there uh, to, in the neighborhood to look around for it in two to three business days. And you're not obligated to do this, but and it would be nice if the dog was in an entrapped area already, so that way it's easier to get them. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, you can, you can go f So the dog followed me into the backyard, so that's nice. Um, I fed and watered it. And then I said, you know what, everyone in my household is okay if I wanted to keep it, so uh, hippity hoppity. Enter stage problem one. I already have a dog. A small one at that. German Shepherds are not the greatest breed when it comes to meeting other dogs. So I brought the German Shepherd and the smaller dog out in the backyard so that way they could have an environment where they felt like they had the opportunity to run if they wanted to. After a while of them barking at each other for a while, I eventually got them into a state where they can be around each other without any skittish behavior. And eventually they just kind of sat there and chilled with each other giving each other plenty of licky licks. I ended up naming the German Shepherd Perdita. This is Latin for lost. Now the second issue is going to be territory. Let me explain. When I first got the dog and tried to take it in, the only territory I gave it was the backyard. The... Don't give me that shit. <laughs> now why that's important is because since it's the only territory I've given her for the time being, it is also the territory that she thinks is hers, which I need to make not the case in her mind as soon as possible. So to solve problem two, I need to make the backyard and the house all one territory and make it very clear that it's not just hers, but it's also the little dogs as well. Since they're already now comfortable with each other, I continue to go ahead and make sure that they're only sharing the same space no matter what. Um, and that they can always have access to each other as well. So now Perdita is in the house. Uh, and knows exactly where the little dog is staying in her room, but knows not to go in there. And that's the same with the little dog as well. The little dog now knows where Perdita is, but also doesn't go in her room. When I take them outside, I tend to take them both outside, and then I take them in uh, together as well. Uh, so the backyard and the house are now their shared territory. They don't think that either one of them owns it, so they're not going to try to defend it. However, they still have their own private spaces that they can feel comfortable with if they want space. When I found Perdita, she was visibly malnourished um, and very, very skittish. Slowly but surely, she's beginning her energy back. And after the course of a while, she eventually opened up and let me play with her. Uh, did a little roughhousing. She doesn't chew on any of the toys I give her. She actually doesn't chew on anything. Uh, she doesn't really have a whole lot of play in her. She just kind of mopes, which is really unusual for her breed because this is a working dog. They're supposed to have a lot, a lot of energy, but she just she just sits there. <laughs> but now she is out of the dirt heat and has a good roof over her head. So wish me luck in the progress with uh, with Perdita. And thank you for watching.